Hey everyone, this is Mega G Crypto. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin, specifically BTC slash USDT. Bitcoin has gone up to a resistance area and it has rejected the resistance area. We're going to be taking a deep dive into the technicals of Bitcoin and we're going to see where we currently are and where we could potentially be headed in the next coming days. So if this sounds interesting, let's get started. Hey everyone, if you haven't already subscribed, do hit the subscribe button below. Also, make sure to hit the like button as this is a small channel and it helps out the algorithm. Now, if you are interested, I do have a service in the description below that is the Patreon service. And on the Patreon, I teach technical analysis. I have a full course of videos of 21 videos where I teach you my style of trading. Um, I am a scalper slash intraday trader. And over here, I have 21 videos and I teach you everything that I basically know in my style of trading. Uh, my win record is 75 to 80% win record based on this style. And obviously, it comes with a lot of practice. I've also journaled all my trades on the Patreon uh, for the members to follow. And I've had the service in the past. But right, I do have a, a win rate of 75 to 80%, which is considered decently good for a trader. And if you want to learn my stuff, then check out the description in the link below. Now we're going to jump into BTC and we're going to take a deep dive into BTC and do an analysis on every single time frame like we usually do, starting off with the larger time frames. All right, so let's get started. You know what? Let's start off with the daily aspect. So now on the daily aspect, we can see that BTC has been making a series of lower lows and lower highs. I'm going to try to go a little more in depth in this video um, because I know some people said in the previous previous I think three videos ago I, I was a little more in detail and someone did say that they like more detailed analysis where I deep dive into the technicals so I'll try to do that now as well so we can see that over here we had a series of lower highs and lower lows making respecting this trend line essentially towards the downside also we were also making another structure which was a type of falling wedge so this falling wedge towards the downside is considered a bullish structure however there is a possibility for us to break below this bullish structure and as we can see over here we started to break below this bullish structure where we began to lose forty thousand dollars as support so we can see over here that when we started to lose forty thousand dollars as support we actually lost it with a lot of velocity we broke it with a lot of volume suggesting that the bears have taken control of the zone and we also broke below the falling wedge the trend line below us and now we have come up to back test it so i'm going to do over here is mark up the zones the zone between forty thousand and thirty thousand we are currently in between both these zones forty thousand dollars is seen as a major zone of resistance while $30,000 is seen as a major zone of support. We have broken below $40,000. We have broken below the falling wedge. And we have currently back tested the falling wedge. We have one hour and 16 minutes remaining for candlestick closure. And since the daily, the weekly, and the monthly determine price direction, this closure right over here, in fact, is a bearish closure. This is a shooting star closure. So if we close like this in an hour and 16 minutes, this is determining price direction, especially when you have these bearish candlesticks in the larger time frame off a resistance area. This is determining that the price is trying to push the price lower. The Bitcoin is trying to go lower given the following day. Now, we can't just use one indication to tell us price direction. We have to use multiple things in order to give us price direction. So now, since the daily has been determined that we are most likely going to go towards the downside based on the daily aspect, let's go down to the four hourly aspect. On the four hourly aspect, I'm going to mark off zones of support and resistance. Specifically, I mark off the zone of supply. What is a zone of supply? Now, there are different zones, supply and demand. A supply zone is an area where price action doesn't like to be there for a prolonged period of time. So the velocity off of this area is quite fast. The candlesticks off of this area as well is quite fast. So if you take a look on the left hand side right over here, we can see how we came down to this area with a small little green candle and immediately we broke below. This is stating that this area is a very strong area of resistance slash supply. We can also see that the velocity was quite strong. The volume, the bearish volume of this area was quite strong. Now because we left this area at such a fast pace, there are a lot of sell limit orders in this area that has not been taken up, which is why when we came back up to back test this area of 38,800, 
we could i was looking for shorts of this area and i was really carefully watching this area for shorts because i understand that this area is a strong area of supply because a lot of sell limit orders were not able to be fulfilled in this area which means there will be a lot of selling pressure in this area likewise at the bottom if you take a look over here when we came down towards this area what can we see we can see the fact that we have wicks we have a lot of volume we didn't stay there for a prolonged period of time we shot up a large candlesticks in the lower region which is showing us this this is an area of demand so there are a lot of buy limit orders within this area that have not been taken up by whales so right now we are on the micro aspect yes on the macro we're below 40,000 and above 30,000 but on the micro aspect we are within a zone of resistance and within a zone of support the support zone below us being currently 33,700 while the or I should say the demand zone being 33,700 and the supply zone being above us at 38,800 so we are within two zones now I'm going to try to narrow this down a lot more and show you how I'm currently seeing this. So over here, we know that we're back testing resistance area on the daily aspect. We possibly have a shooting star, which is a bearish candlestick pattern. And now on the four hourly, I want to pull out the Fibonacci from the swing high to the swing low and show you the zones of resistance. So as you can currently see, we came up towards this area. So the Fibonacci tool over here has num numerous numbers seen on the left hand side and i am fibonacci trader so you can see over here we have the 886 the 786 the 618 the 50 the 382 and the 236 each of these numbers have significance and there is a way to trade each of these numbers but generally when you do have a retracement you tend to come up to the golden zone and when you do come up to the golden zone this is an area people will be taking shorts so you can see the significance of the area that we came up to 38,800. it was an area of strong confluence it was the golden zone that I pointed out at 38.8. It was a resistance zone that I pointed out as well, seen on the left-hand side. It was a descending trend line from the top to the bottom as well. It is a supply zone seen from the left to the right as well. And of course, it's the golden zone as I already pointed out. Now, if you see over here, we came up to this golden zone and we broke below. We broke below the 382 as well, seen on the left-hand side, which means the next strong support zone right now of the fibonacci is the 236 and i'll give this area an area of green and right now the 236 is currently coming in at thirty five thousand five hundred dollars okay again i know this is going to be a little more complex but i'm going to try to uh, show you the the mindset behind trading and the mindset behind finding proper setups because i only trade high probability setups which is why i have a high win rate when it comes to trading now, I've shown you that the fact that above we have a supply zone, it is the golden zone, it is a resistance zone, it is a supply zone, it is a descending trend line, and on the daily aspect we have a bearish closure. I've showed you at the bottom as well, we have the 236 of the Fibonacci from the swing high to the swing low. Now, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to show you what happened when we came up towards this resistance area seen above us, because when we did come up towards this resistance area, what we ended up making towards the upside is something called a rising wedge. And I did take the short. In fact, I show you where I took a long. I took a long over here towards the upside, which gave me 3%. And I also took the short immediately after disclosure, in fact, which gave me 4%. And I did close my short as well because I wasn't willing to hold it for that long period of time. But there is some potential downside even more. Now, we broke this rising wedge. The target of this rising wedge is seen as the height of the rising wedge which is seen like so and this height of the rising wedge is currently coming at or giving the support zone below us which is seen right over here so our support zone right now for btc where we could see a potential reaction is thirty six thousand dollars i'm going to try to find confluence with thirty six thousand dollars to show you the significance of thirty six thousand dollars and as you can see over here we have an ascending trend line with a one a two a three and a four touch coming in at $36,000. We also have another Fibonacci from the swing low to the swing high, which is giving us our golden zone, as I pointed out, seen right over here at the 50. And I'll just mark off the 50 as an area of significance. So what I've shown you right here is I gave you an area of resistance above us, giving you five reasons as to why this is a strong confluence zone. I'm showing you a support zone below us, which is giving you a numerous reasons as to why it is a strong support zone. So the, the reason why it's a strong support zone is because I've showed you that this is the 50 from the swing low to the swing high of the golden zone. I showed you that this is the 236 from the swing high to the swing low. 
giving you the fact that this is the 236 as well. I gave you an ascending trend line, which is seen from the left to the right, giving you three reasons. Also, I'll give you the fourth reason, which is the fact that this is also a support zone. So what am I basically saying right now? I am basically saying that $35,900 is a strong area of support. If you're capable of losing 35.5K as support and losing the 236 on the macro aspect, which is currently coming in at 35,400, then our next target would be towards the downside. And the downside target is seen the demand zone at the bottom that I pointed out in a, in a, initially. The demand zone right now below us, which I pointed out in the beginning, is seen right over here. And this is currently coming in at $34,100 to $34,000. Okay, so this is how I marked up my charts right now. Let's see what happens. We are currently trying to fall down towards 35,950. Okay, the 236 is at 35,474. And if we lose the 236, then 34,000 once again, which is the demand zone at the bottom, is in play. The daily aspect is closing bearish as well. So do keep that in mind that the incentive is or the, the incentive is trying to push the price towards the downside. Okay, now again, this, this type of TA that I just described was a little high level, I understand. But someone did ask me to show them, uh, to give them more high level TA. So I thought, why not, right? If, if you go catch on with this, that's great. That means you're very well informed in technical analysis. And if you didn't, then and you want to learn this stuff, check out the Patreon link in the description below. Because once you start learning this stuff, it becomes really easy to have trade setups. When you understand supply and demand, when you understand all the levels of the Fibonacci, when you understand resistance support and trend lines and how to draw them properly, then this becomes more of an art where you will get better over time. So if you are interested in something like this, again, check out the link in the description below. As of right now, I did place a long and a short and I have taken profit on both, giving me a 3% long and a 4% short. And I'm currently waiting to see what happens when we come down to these levels and whether or not we're capable of breaking below support. If we are capable of breaking below support, I will again look at the chart and try to find as much confluence in my resistance and support and take longs and shorts uh, ideally. However, I do think we have more further downside if we do lose the support zone that we're coming down towards. Okay, so thank you for watching and have a good one. Bye.